Who am I? I'm a mum, I'm a photographer, I'm a human being. That's enough to know. What I want people to do is to look at my work and take something out of that. Hi, my name is Liz Johnson Arta. I'm an artist and photographer. We're here today because in 2018, the Guildhall Gallery required a piece of work of mine and we came here to have a look at it. I came to London in 1991. I was on my way to New York and I thought I'd come to London first for maybe a year and then move on. But I stayed. I think what I realised arriving in London and particularly being based in South London is that actually the people that I want to photograph are right here. What I saw when I came to this gallery, which I did as research, is that there is something that reflects everyday life, but there wasn't anyone that looked like the people that are in my archive. So I felt like, let's respond to this. I was aware that I was the first female artist of colour whose work the gallery wanted to acquire. So my thought was how to bring in my work, which is based on photographs of the black diaspora, into a gallery that has really not much of that representation. So I think let's go and have a look. I call my work the Black Balloon Archive after a song that I heard by Cyril Johnson. And I like the first line of this song because it sort of described bright blue sky, you go out and you're bound to bump into a black balloon. And I feel like this when I do my work. I go out and I'm bound to find someone that I'd like to take a picture of. Yeah, it's nice to see. It's been here since 2018 and I haven't been able to come back, but it's very nice to see. There's one thing about work being acquired. A lot of times it is not hung, so I was actually quite happy that the gallery hung it. Let me take you through some pictures. What I did here was really trying to represent the work that I do through the pictures that I have been doing since around 91. There's a picture of a church service in Elephant and Castle and I basically just walked up and asked if I could come in and take pictures and they let me come in. It's one of the first pictures that I actually took when I came to London and for me it's as relevant as a picture that I took in 2018. I didn't grow up with any black community, so for me anything from a wedding to a birthday party to a club to people on the street, for me everything was interesting. This is a picture from a club called PDA that used to run for quite a few years and it was a place that sort of created a certain warm place for black and brown LGBTQT people. I wanted to represent the LGBTQ community because I think it's something that is not talked about enough, particularly not in context of black culture. One of the things about my work is that I don't have categories, I don't have priorities. I think for me, creating my own archive means I can keep everyone on the same level. I go to different places. I sometimes encounter people on the street like this gentleman who just walked past me and I just asked him if I could take his picture. Sometimes I see places like churches and I ask people if I can come in. In this case, I was allowed to go to a Baptist church and they allowed me to take pictures. This was a Nigerian birthday party. All these moments for me are important because they need to be, as I like to think, elevated because a lot of the work that you see here whether it's painting or other photographs also represent everyday life it's just it's not the everyday life that I encounter I think we can demand to go to a place like this gallery which is in the heart of London and to encounter art that relates to all of us so hopefully in 50 years time it's not a big deal to see pictures like mine in a gallery like this being able to see work that has something to do with who you are is encouraging. And I think young people should not stop in front of anything that tells them you can't do that. So any sign that says you're not welcomed, important to open that door. <laughs>